Hey everybody, DK Guillotine here, and welcome to my Blu-ray collection tour. Now, one thing you guys might not know about me is I am a bit of a Blu-ray collector myself, and there is a lot of things that I really love besides just Transformers, and this video is going to be a really great way for you guys to see some other stuff that I really love that aren't just uh, Transformers, and I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time now. Finally got a good chance to do it today, and I'm really excited to do this. But before we get into this, we're going to go through my Blu-ray collection, which is just off to the side here in this really cool coffin shelf which was gifted to me by my big sister which I will absolutely love. I thank her so very much for this. Yeah, we're going to go through every single one of my Blu-rays. Uh, I'll talk about them and I'll give every single one of them ranks and you guys will get a good feel for what I really, really like. Um, but there's a couple things I want to say. One, I am the pickiest motherfucking Blu-ray buyer you will ever see in your life. I only buy Blu-rays if it is a nice release. I really like slip covers and I really like steel books. Those are my, those are the things that I look for when I look for good releases. If you don't have a steel book or a slip cover, the odds of me buying you are like almost 0%. I just don't go for it. I really like my Blu-rays to look good, especially if it's a movie that I really, really, really love. So yes, throughout this video, you're going to see that I have a lot of Blu-rays uh, in, in like slip covers and steel books and just really nice releases overall because it's just the ones I go for. And you're also going to notice that I'm like, I don't have a lot of things that I probably should have in here. Uh, there's a lot of movies that I love and a lot of TV shows that I love that I don't have in here because I just refuse to go for the boring ass releases that they go for. So yeah, I am the world's pickiest Blu-ray buyer you will ever meet in your life. Um, but yeah, I did just want to say that real quick quick but I think that is just for everything we need to do for the prefacing of the video let's jump into this this is the DK guillotine ultimate blu-ray tour baby let's go Alrighty guys, here is the shelf right here above here. I got some of my plushies up there. That's Billy from Saw. You're gonna find out through this uh, Blu-ray couture that I am a massive Saw fan. Also, I have my awesome 10th anniversary poster, which is one of my favorite things I own in my entire, yeah, one of my favorite things I own. One of the crown jewels of my room. I absolutely love that. But yeah, that's my life size Billy the Puppet from uh, Trick or Treat Studios. This is Monokuma from Danganronpa. Big Danganronpa fan back here. Gengar, my favorite Pokemon. Gengar is the best. And then over here, Ryuko from Kill a Kill, which you're gonna see very soon. I am a huge Kill a Kill fan, and also Death the Kid from Soul Eater, which I am also a big Soul Eater fan. So yeah, that is what that looks like. And then right here, this is the first shelf. This is where I put most of my stuff that don't really have a have their own category, but I just really, really, really love. Like these are some of my absolute favorite things ever to watch. Uh, then right here is my animated movie shelf, and this is my favorite shelf by far because these are where majority of my favorite movies are. This this is my favorite category of movies. These are my favorite movies to watch. I just love animated movies, man. You guys, I'm sure you guys have caught on by now with the fact that I love Transformers so very much that I'm a bit of a man-child, and uh, yeah, this just furthers that point more. My favorite movies of all time are mostly Pixar movies and Disney movies and DreamWorks movies, so yeah, uh, we're gonna go over that too. But I also am also a complete weirdo because I'm also a big horror fan. I'm also a bit of a, a horror fan, and this is my horror shelf right here. So we're gonna go through each each and every single one of the Blu-rays in this collection. You're going to get my thoughts on the movie. I'm going to rank every single movie. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about my figures over here too. Don't worry. We'll touch upon everything. But uh, yeah, I believe that is all we have to do for the prefacing. Let's get into this. All right, let's jump into this. First up, we have my favorite TV show of all time, Breaking Bad. This is the complete show on Blu-ray. This is one of my favorite Blu-rays in my collection by far. I love this. This is the entire show. It opens up like this right here. It has an awesome documentary on the making of Breaking Bad. Once again, my favorite TV show of all time. It's not actually in there. It's in a separate DVD case uh, in my like behind everything in here. But uh, yeah, it's just I wanted to make it easier to get to because it's really hard to get out of there. But you open that up. I'll just give you a quick little show. The Breaking Bad, the complete series right there. Blu-ray, here's the spine, Breaking Bad, the complete series, the back, it's got the, the signature Breaking Bad smoke right there, and then you open it up, and right here is every single season of the show right there, it, it has all six, it has all five seasons, and uh, season five is split up into both halves, which is really awesome, this is my favorite TV show of all time, guys, so here is, you just pull it out like this, there is season one, S tier, season two, S tier, Season 3, S tier. Season 4, S plus tier. My favorite season of television ever made. 
Season 5 Part 1 S tier and Season 5 Part 2 S tier. So there you go. There is my Breaking Bad Blu-ray collection. Like I said, definitely one of the uh, one of my one of my crown jewels. Absolutely love this Blu-ray so so very much. So get that back in there underneath Billy's foot. To go with Breaking Bad, my El Camino Steelbook, the sequel to Breaking Bad, the El, El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. A uh, really amazing film where you follow Jesse Pinkman, who happens to be my favorite character from Breaking Bad. This Steelbook is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. I love this. Absolutely love this. I think Best Buy gets the best freaking Steelbooks, man. I have a Best Buy. Like, I go to Best Buy all the time just, make, just making sure I don't miss any great Steelbook releases. And this one really, really blew me away when I saw it. I love this. You have uh, Jesse riding in the El Camino. You know, right there, the signature Breaking Bad smoke. And then on the back is this El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. If you open it up, there you have the discs right there. Absolutely love this. Uh, I think uh, a, a tier for El Camino. Um, not the most necessary sequel because the ending of Breaking Bad is perfect, but an amazing movie. Absolutely love it, especially the scene in the, in the steel mill. So, so good. Um, one thing I don't like about this steel book, though, is it doesn't have El Camino on the spine, which is just, I don't, I don't know why they did that, but I just put it next to my Breaking Bad thing so it's not hard to find or anything. Next up, my favorite anime of all time, Kill a Kill. I'm a bit of an anime fan, and Kill a Kill is my favorite anime of all time. This show is a masterpiece, in my opinion. If you have not watched Kill a Kill, go give it a watch. It is a phenomenal show. This is the entire show on Blu-ray in this awesome box set. This is an Anaplex box set. Absolutely love this. On the side there, you have all the characters right there, which I absolutely love. Ryuko Matoi is my favorite anime character of all time, and I have a figure of her right there, as you can see there. But, uh, yeah absolutely love this there is the blu-rays right there here's the back which shows you every single one of the episodes this does include the extra 25th episode goodbye again which i absolutely love one of my favorite episodes actually and it comes out like this you have part one right there and part two this show is a masterpiece in my opinion um basically so about halfway through this show, once you get to this half, uh, there's this massive plot twist, and that's when the show becomes a masterpiece, in my opinion, and it's just absolutely incredible. And then this is a cool little book it comes with as well, has some cool shots from the show, absolutely love this. So yeah, uh, highly recommend Kill a Kill S tier, by far, definitely, definitely S tier, absolutely adore this show. If you like, if you like kind of like huge fighting spectacles, you like hot girls, and you like just about everything that makes anime anime, you will love this show. Kill a Kill is S tier. Next up is my other favorite anime, Danganronpa. So this is the uh, this is the uh, anime I told you about when I showed you Monokuma up there. He's from this anime. This is an amazing anime. I absolutely love this. This is actually, it's a game series. This is the anime adaptation of the first game, which is the only one that has an anime adaptation. But it's uh, a really amazing adaptation. This is really, really great because the first game is so long. So when you want to relive the amazing story of the first game, you can just watch this and it takes, and it's like five hours and you get the whole story. Absolutely magnificent. Love Danganronpa. Love all three of the games. Uh, yeah, but I made this, I actually made this custom slip cover for my Danganronpa Blu-ray right here. As you can see, this is very clearly custom made and you open it up and there is the Blu-ray. This is the entire show on Blu-ray. You have all of the uh, episodes right there, which is really, really great. And on the front, it's got whoop, 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 and you have Monokuma in the corner right there. And it has Blu-ray and DVD of the entire show right there, which I absolutely love. Yeah, Dong and Rampa's the shit. Absolutely cannot recommend this enough. S tier. Transformers Prime, my favorite Transformers media ever. This show is a masterpiece, my favorite cartoon of all time. Uh, just an absolutely incredible show. This is the Shout Factory release. I really need to get the other seasons. This is the only season I have at the moment. But uh, yeah, this is absolutely magnificent. You have Prime and Megatron on the front there. This is the first season, of course. And then you can open it up. You have the Blu-ray right there with the entire show, with the entire first season right there. And it also includes this very cool comic book as well, which is a pretty good read as well. A nice Prime, uh, a nice uh, comic book in the Prime continuity. Uh, Transformers Prime is honestly one of the most amazing uh, Transformers piece, pieces of Transformers media I have ever seen. I, I honestly think it's flawless from beginning to end. I don't think there's a bad episode. I think all the characters are phenomenal. The voice acting is god tier. Uh, incredible show. S tier. 
Transformers The Michael Bay Collection, all five of the Transformers films. Uh, yeah, uh, very uh, big fan of the first three. Really, really awesome Blu-ray here. You have the uh, the slip cover right here. Very, very nice overall. Nice high quality. I like the little picture of Optimus on the front. I don't actually hate that design, despite my opinion on the movies. But yeah, the night design is pretty cool. And then there's the back right there. Lovely collection. Love this. Um, first movie is S+. Plus. Second movie is B. Third movie is A. Um, and then Age of Extinction and Last Night are both F, and freaking, uh, Bumblebee is like a, is like a B minus, so, there you go. Although this doesn't actually have Bumblebee on it, but yeah, there you go. I have a, I actually have a video where I ranked every single one of the Transformers movies on my channel. If you're interested, you can check that out. Liar Liar, my favorite comedy of all time. This movie just makes me happy, man. It's the, this is the funniest fucking movie you'll ever watch in your entire life. Jim Carrey was the shit back in the 90s. Uh, yeah, this is one of the funniest movies ever made. S tier. Spider-Man Trilogy, all three of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. Absolutely love all three of these. Interestingly enough, though, my favorite Spider-Man movie is not among these three. I love all three of these movies, even uh, Spider-Man 3, but my favorite Spider-Man movie is actually Homecoming, because I think Peter Holland, uh, not Peter Holland, Tom Holland, is a really amazing Spider-Man, and I, I love I love Homecoming. I think Michael Keaton is like, is, like, absolutely incredible in that movie, so yeah. There you go. There you have that. It's all it's all three of the movies and a nice uh, extra little disc that was some put with some special features. Yeah, love this. Very much love this. One of my definitely uh definitely one thing I'm very happy to have. Beautiful set right here. So there you go. Uh, first movie uh, A tier. Second movie S tier. Third movie A tier. Birds of Prey, my favorite comic book movie of all time. Harley Quinn is my favorite comic book character, and this is the Harley Quinn movie that I've wanted my whole life. This movie is basically Deadpool, but replace Deadpool with Harley Quinn. That's what you have. Uh, this movie is incredible. I actually have my hot toy coming in later this year. I can't wait. I cannot wait to get it, but yeah. Uh, this movie is phenomenal. If you heard from people that this movie was shit, they're lying to you. Go watch it. It's phenomenal. I actually have two copies of this movie. I have this, this 4K and the Blu-ray, because I bought the Blu-ray first, because it was the first one I saw, and I did like the cover. But then I saw this 4K right here. You know what? I'll get the Blu-ray real quick. Ah, here is the Blu-ray. That's the first one I bought. I really liked the cover, so I just went with it. I really liked the sparkly finish to it. But then I later saw the 4K and was like, oh my god, I love the 4K so much more. So I ended up double dipping on it to get the 4K because I liked the slip cover more. Because it has just all the characters right there. And I love how it has Roman Sionis's, like mask just like in the background looming over them. Really amazing. Like I said, one of my favorite movies of all time. In my top 10, this movie is incredible. Once again, it's basically just Deadpool, but replace Deadpool with Harley Quinn. There you go. Absolutely magnificent film. I love it. S tier. Godzilla King of the Monsters, big Godzilla fan, and this is my favorite Godzilla movie of all time. Yes, it's an ugly ass DVD. Um, this this was before I really became all picky with my Blu-rays, and I really wish I had it because I man, I love the Blu-ray release of this. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I used to buy DVDs. I was a fucking idiot, but yeah, love this movie though. Absolutely love this movie. Hopefully they'll hopefully they'll like uh, give this movie like a steelbook or something in the future, and I can get that and throw this DVD in the trash where it belongs. But yeah, amazing movie. My favorite Godzilla movie of all time by far. S tier. Harley Quinn TV show, the, the DC Multiverse one, the one with Kaylee Cuoco. I loved this show. I, I really did. I haven't watched season two yet. I heard it was good. But uh, yeah, I, I love this show. I, I, I never thought Kaylee Cuoco would be a great Harley Quinn, but she is. I am... Yeah, I never, never would have, if you had told me Kaylee Kuroko would be Harley Quinn and she would absolutely kill it, I never would have believed you, but, yeah, she's pretty damn great as Harley Quinn. I was, I, I always liked her in the Big Bang Theory, so, yeah, really uh, awesome show, hilarious, especially the first episode. The first episode of this show is fucking perfection, dude, definitely check it out if you're a Harley Quinn fan. I like this show a lot. Uh, yeah, really good. I'll say A tier, I'll say A tier for that. Very funny. Stranger Things, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. This is just season one. I missed the season two release, unfortunately, and they haven't released season three yet, but love this show. This is one of my favorite releases in my collection. It's actually like a VHS tape, and you open it up like this. You open that magnet piece up, and then you open it up, and you have the Blu-rays right there, and then you pull this piece down, and you have the DVDs right there, and it says, Friends Don't Lie, right there. Absolutely love this. This is definitely one of the crown jewels of my collection. I, I absolutely love this. Magnificent. And the show itself is an S tier. Absolutely incredible show. Dong and Ramba 3, the, uh, the Despair Arc, the Despair Arc. Uh, we'll go ahead and talk about both of them right here. So Dong and Ramba 3, the Despair Arc, and the Future Arc. I like both of these. I like this one a little bit more. I think the ending of the Future Arc is very, oh, it, it's not good. It's not good. I don't like the ending of the Dong and Ramba 3 anime at all. It just, 
it, it just feels very, it's just not good. It's very not good. But I like the Despair arc a lot. Junko was my favorite character in the franchise, and you get to, you just get to, Junko really is, like, at her best in, uh, in the Despair arc here. So, yeah, that was probably the thing I loved the most about it. But also getting to see the Danganronpa 2 cast outside of the game was really great as well. Nagito is also one of my favorite characters. So, yeah, uh, like this overall, but not fantastic. Despair arc, I'll say... Uh, A tier. Future arc, I'll say, like, the first nine episodes of the future arc are phenomenal. But man, when the twists start coming in, and then, like, a bunch of bullshit just starts going down, it kind of just falls apart. Um, so I'll say, I'll say B tier. I'll say B tier for the future arc. So there you go. Godzilla 2014. Great Godzilla film. There was a, once upon a time I did say this was my favorite, but yeah, Godzilla uh, King of the Monsters did dethrone it, but I like this movie a lot. I think Brian Cranston really kills it at the beginning. I think Aaron Taylor Johnson's pretty good overall, and I always like it, Elizabeth Olsen, but yeah, pretty good movie. Not not the best, kind of boring at times, but uh, a good movie. I like it. Once again, I'm definitely not as high on it as I used to be. John Wick, all three John Wick movies. Uh, here's where I lose some subscribers. I only like the first movie. I yeah, I have all three of them because it was cheaper to buy all three of them than just buy the first one with a nice slip cover. But uh, yeah, I only like the first one. I love the first one though because uh, my dog is like the most important thing in the world to me. She means everything to me. So yeah, I love the first one to death. But the second one and the third one, honestly, they did absolutely nothing for me. I'll probably never watch them ever again. But yeah, first one is phenomenal. So there you go. There's that. Uh, Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, I'm gonna be honest with you, I prefer the ending of Season 3 over this movie, but I've got this movie along with the, uh, Season 1 Blu-ray, because it had been a long time since I had seen it, I had rewatched Transformers Prime, this isn't really available anywhere where you can watch Transformers Prime, and I kind of forgot about it, so I decided to grab it when I bought, uh, Transformers Prime Season 1, and it's okay, but I do prefer the ending of Season 3 over this movie. I just like, I just like the fact that Megatron dies at the end, I don't know why, I just think that that's a much better ending for it, and in, you know, in the Beast Hunters one, he comes back, and I don't, I don't know how I felt about that, man, but, uh, yeah, and then the final thing I have here, another ugly ass DVD, Avengers Endgame, absolutely love this movie, oh wait, I forgot to give, uh, Godzilla is like an A tier, John Wick 1 is an S tier, 2 and 3, honestly, like a C tier, I don't like either of them, uh, and then Beast Hunters Rising, C tier, and then here's Avengers Endgame, this is, I love this movie, absolutely love this movie, I love all the Avengers movies, my favorite is the first one, but I love all four of them, uh, but yeah, great movie, just really wish I didn't have to have this disgusting DVD, because my god, the steelbook for this thing is gorgeous, and I want it so bad, but uh, yeah, phenomenal movie, the movie is S tier, but the release is fucking F, F minus tier, fucking, fucking DVDs, man, they're disgusting, but yeah, that completes the first shelf right there. Alrighty, and now we're at my favorite shelf. All of my, most of my favorite movies are on this shelf. Uh, like I said before, I just, I love animated movies. Pixar movies are probably my favorite movies to watch. So, yeah, I'll have to move Moana out of the way real quick here and start getting into these. So let's go. First up, Shrek. <laughs> absolutely love Shrek. I mean, who doesn't? But, uh, yeah, I uh, love the first one. Absolutely adore the second one. The second one is my favorite by far. Love the fourth one. The fourth one is fantastic and really underrated. Uh, the third one is garbage. But, uh, yeah, and then all the other stuff on this uh, is is all just kind of okay. I'm not going to rank all that stuff. But the first one is an A tier. Second one's an S+. Plus. Third one is F+. And, uh, the fourth one, I think, is S. Really, really love, uh, Shrek, obviously. You know, who doesn't? But, really great. Obviously love it. Alright, here's where I lose some more subscribers. Guys, I absolutely fucking love Cars. I love this franchise. Absolutely love Cars. Cars. You can say whatever you want. I know. I know. I know. I know. I honestly, I honestly don't know. I don't care. I don't understand why everybody turned their back on cars suddenly because I don't know. Ooh, the the concept is stupid. They're cars. Use your imagination. It's a fucking animated movie. Like, <laughs> come on. Uh, but yeah, I love cars. I really do. All three of them. Uh, here's the first one, which is by far my favorite. Absolutely love this steelbook. Yeah, Lightning McQueen and Doc on the front there. One of my favorite movies from my childhood. Just absolutely love, 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 love this movie. And I uh, really don't understand why it gets all the hate it gets. It's, it's a beautiful film. One of my favorite Pixar movies. There you have the opening right there. Yeah, really, really, I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Cars 2, the sequel, definitely the worst of the franchise, but I honestly really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's just, it's just a fun movie. Not one I watch too often, but I do like it. it it's just, it's really fun. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of dark and it's got some kind of horror movie elements to it. Very, you know, spy like James Bond-esque movie, but it's honestly a lot of fun. I, I do really enjoy it. Finn McMissile's kind of a highlight in my opinion. 
and the second best car movie, or a lot of people would consider the best car movie, and honestly, it's definitely not too far away from me, uh, Cars 3. Masterpiece, absolutely incredible film, absolutely adore this movie, and this is probably my favorite of my Cars uh, releases, this steelbook is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, it's so shiny, absolutely love it, Cars 3, really amazing film, you got Cruz and Jackson Storm on the back there, Lightning McQueen in the front there, amazing film, absolutely incredible film, if you have not seen Cars 3, because you were so disappointed with Cars 2, give Cars 3 a watch, it's the proper sequel to the first one, and it's phenomenal, almost as good as the first one. How to Train Your Dragon, uh, probably my third favorite movie of all time. This movie means m means the world to me. It's an absolutely incredible film. It's one of the most brilliant and immaculate films I've ever seen in my life. It just makes me happy. This Blu-ray, I know it's hideous. This is actually my original Blu-ray I had as a kid. I've worn this thing out, man. Absolutely worn this thing out. But this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Like I said, this movie means the world to me. It, it's it's truly magnificent. If you have not watched this by some miracle, you need to watch it. Uh, this this movie is is it's life. It's absolutely incredible. And then I don't have How to Train Your Dragon two, but I do have The Hidden World, which I absolutely loved. Really amazing ending to the franchise. Uh, yeah, an incredible trilogy overall. But yeah, I absolutely love this. The villain was really great. Definitely the best villain of the franchise. And uh, yeah, an, an incredible ending. Definitely my second favorite movie in the franchise. But yeah, really really amazing. And I love this this uh, this slip cover. Nice embossed. Really really. Outstanding film. Absolutely outstanding film. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, if I had to pick a favorite movie of all time, that would have to be Coco. This movie is, uh, this movie is my life. This movie is incredible. I've watched this movie probably around 30 times. Um, that I, this movie, in my opinion, transcends the definition of masterpiece. It transcends brilliance. It transcends perfection. It, it is an incredible film. It, it really is. Beginning to end, everything about this movie is incredible. The characters are incredible. The world building is incredible. The animation is incredible. It's absolutely stunning. The music is incredible. The ending is is just is heartbreaking. It, it's one of the hardest endings to watch for me. I've watched this movie 30 times probably, and every single time I've cried at the end. I literally, I've, I've made it my goal to sit through the ending of this movie one time without crying crying. Uh, it, it's just incredible. And this is probably my second favorite Blu-ray in my entire collection. This Blu-ray is absolutely gorgeous. It has the guitar in the front. If you zoom in, it has it has Miguel and Dante right there on the guitar, Coco, and then on the back there it has a zoomed in picture of the guitar. And I love how it actually like splits right down the middle. And as you can see there, it like splits right down the middle with the back design and the front design. Absolutely incredible. One of my favorites of all time. Uh, one of my favorite Blu-rays in my collection of all time. But yeah, if I had to pick a favorite movie of all time, I think it would have to be Coco. One of, uh, yeah, just a, a truly transcending film, really. Another one of my favorite films of all time, Wreck-It Ralph. This movie is my comfort zone, man. This movie just makes me happy at every time I watch it. It just makes me so happy, mainly for Vanellope. Vanellope is by far my favorite Disney character of all time, possibly my favorite animated movie character of all time. She's the best thing that's ever existed, ever. Every second Vanellope is on screen, there's a huge smile on my face, man. She's she's absolutely incredible. Uh, Yeah. Words cannot describe how much I love this movie. This is definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. Simply just phenomenal. Honestly, it's phenomenal. It's a perfect movie from beginning to end. I can't recommend it enough. Oh my god, I haven't been giving rank- I haven't been freaking giving, uh, rankings. I'm so sorry. Uh, Cars- I did rank the Shrek movies. Cars is S tier. Cars 2 is like B tier. Cars 3 is S tier. How to Train Your Dragon is S plus. How to Train Your Dragon Hidden World, S tier. Coco is S plus 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 and Wreck It Ralph I'll say S plus really incredible film. Ralph breaks the internet not quite as phenomenal as Wreck It Ralph but I honestly still really enjoy it. Uh, Vanellope is a lot is is in this movie a lot more and obviously that makes me happy because Vanellope is like my favorite character ever. She is incredible. I just I love her. I love her so very much. And yeah, I, I enjoy this movie overall. It's definitely not perfect but I, I do enjoy it overall and I do put this one in backwards because it mean it has Vanellope on the spine there. So Wreck It Ralph has Ralph in the spine and then Vanellope is on the spine in that one. See the light with the sun meets the sea, it calls me. Moana is so incredible. Absolutely phenomenal film. Uh, this was the movie that kind of made me refall in love with animated movies. And uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely one of my favorites. One of my favorite Disney animated films. Uh, truly incredible. If you have not seen this movie, get on it. it it's it's absolutely phenomenal. I love it. Uh, oh, by the way, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I keep forgetting to give rankings. Ralph Breaks the Internet, uh, B tier. Moana is S+. 
Tangled, another one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Also, S+. Plus. This movie is so fucking ama amazing. Seriously. Incredible characters. Amazing music. Amazing fucking villain. One of Disney's best villains. Uh, this movie rules. If you have not seen Tangled, fucking watch it. One of Disney's best. So underrated, too. Oh, my God. Why does nobody talk about Tangled anymore? Monsters, Inc., one of my favorite Pixar movies, a, an absolute masterpiece from beginning to end, truly. Like, what, what more needs to be said about Monsters, Inc.? That has been said a million times. Uh, it's incredible. An absolute, an absolute masterpiece. Love every second of this movie. And, uh, yeah, this is my original Blu-ray from my childhood, and I love it. Absolutely just love it. My favorite movie of 2020, Soul. This is definitely, uh, yeah, this is another one of my favorite movies of all time. Absolutely adore this film. This is one of my favorite steelbooks in my collection too. I love this one because it has the real world and then you have the piano and then beneath there it is the uh, the U seminar. Really, really, really awesome. Absolutely love this film. Watch this film so many effing times. It's not even funny. Also, if you open it up, the back has uh, has the cat right there. So yeah, you can kind of think of it. 22 right there and then Joe right there. Uh, yeah, this movie is is truly incredible. Truly incredible. An absolute transcending movie. This, uh, watch this movie if you haven't already, because you'll, you'll feel so good after you do it. it. It's just a masterpiece. Absolutely incredible. And the soundtrack is incredible, too. Done by Trent Reznor, uh, from, uh, Nine Inch Nails. A absolutely incredible. Love this film. And also, one thing about this movie that I absolutely love is that I always really liked Jamie Foxx as an actor, but there was never really anything in it that I really, really genuinely loved, like the actual movie or the show that he was in. I never actually loved that, so I couldn't, so as much as I liked Jamie Foxx, Never really had anything I could really say I really loved that he was in, but now I do, because he is incredible in this film as uh, as Joe Gardner. So yeah, a phenomenal movie, S+. Plus. By the way, Monsters, Inc. is also S+. Plus. Toy Story 4! Absolutely loved this. I love all four of the Toy Story movies, but uh, yeah, Toy Story 4 is the only one that I obviously have. Once again, very picky Blu-ray buyer, but yeah. Uh, phenomenal film. I, I I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the ending. I think the ending is fantastic. I don't give. I don't. I don't understand what people freaked out about so much about the ending. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, yeah, awesome film. If 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 they really want to keep going with this, if they're on the same quality of this one, I'm cool. I mean, I'm usually all for just stopping it after a trilogy, but uh, I mean, if you never go downhill, what? Why stop? Because that. Yeah, S plus. Absolutely love it. Well, no, nah. I'm gonna go with S on Toy Story Four. We're gonna go with S on Toy Story Four. Brave. One of the most underrated Pixar movies ever. People just shit all over this movie, and I don't understand it. This movie is phenomenal. Phenomenal characters, amazing music, the cinematography, the animation, incredible. Absolutely love Brave. The story is fantastic. Great villain. Um, incredible story about her, about a, about, about a daughter and her mother kind of coming together. How they don't see eye to eye at first, and they kind of come together over this really amazing journey. Uh, incredible film. Please, just... Watch it if you have it, man. It's it's phenomenal. The most recent addition to the collection, Raya and the Last Dragon. Absolutely adored this film. Loved it so very much. Raya, one of my favorite Disney characters. She is so badass. I love her. Went with the 4K. Absolutely love this look. Really, really amazing. It is embossed. You have Raya is embossed right there. You have the shadow of Sisu in the back there. Uh, and amazing. If you did, if you haven't watched Raya yet, definitely watch it. Really great film. It's not perfect. I don't think it's quite as good as Disney's best films like Wreck-It Ralph and Moana. But, um... It's it's very good. It's definitely another great Disney movie. I, I really, really like it. Uh, yeah, really awesome. Love it. And now all of the rest of these, I'm not going to repeat. Uh, I'm not going to repeat this for every single one of these. All the rest of these are all DVDs from my childhood. So these are all the original DVDs I had uh, as a kid. And uh, yeah, I just uh, kept them. So Wally, incredible film, absolute masterpiece, uh, and a beautiful story about two robots who fall in love and then end up saving the earth from certain doom, from certain doom. It's, it's magnificent. It's an absolute masterpiece. One of my favorite Pixar movies. You're going to hear that. You're going to hear me say that a lot for these next couple movies. Ratatouille, absolute masterpiece. I've never given two shits about cooking in my entire life, but, uh, this film somehow, somehow I've become, I've became completely enamored with this film, even though it's completely about cooking. It's all about being a great chef and all that. And I could not care less about cooking Somehow this film manages to capture my heart from beginning to end, and it's 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 a masterpiece, absolutely incredible. Uh, Brad Bird at his best. Speaking of Brad Bird at his best, The Incredibles, absolutely phenomenal film, so good. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
there's the obvious thing, you know, Elastigirl, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you, but, uh, a, a absolutely phenomenal film, a, a phenomenal movie of a family drama disguised as a superhero film, and it's fantastic, one of my favorite Pixar movies, so, so good. Up! Guess what I'm gonna say, another one of my favorite Pixar movies, absolutely adore this film, uh, so good, every character in here except for Russell is, is awesome, I, I love every single one of them, man, Russell's kind of annoying, but other than him, like, the characters in this just absolutely rule, man. It, it's such an amazing movie, and my god, the first 15 minutes will have you bawling. It's, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely love it, and this one even has a, the, the, the Doug short, which I absolutely love as well. So yeah, Up is, Up is phenomenal. I keep forgetting the ranking, son of a bitch! Where, 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 where did we go on that? Okay. Brave, Brave is A tier. Ryan the Last Dragon is A minus. Wally's S plus. Ratatouille's S plus. The Incredibles is S plus. Up is S plus. Uh, Kung Fu Panda is our next one. This is actually, it's Kung Fu Panda, but it's also, god damn it, uh, this is actually, it's Kung Fu Panda, but I also have Kung Fu Panda 2 in here, which is actually my favorite of, uh, of the movies. I love all three of the Kung Fu Panda movies, but Kung Fu Panda 2 is among my favorite animated films of all time. I absolutely love Kung Fu Panda 2, man. Fucking, uh, Lord Shen, voiced by Gary Oldman, probably DreamWorks' best villain. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, love all three of the Kung Fu Panda movies, but, uh, the second one's definitely my favorite. The first one's phenomenal. Absolutely love it. Obviously, Jack Black is a show stealer in it. He's, he's fantastic. Uh, fantastic movie. An absolute classic. I'm sure you've all seen Kung Fu Panda. Don't need to waste too much time on that. Toy Story 2. Fantastic film. Absolutely love it. Uh, a great Toy Story movie. Probably my least favorite Toy Story movie, but I mean, we're talking about four S level movies. So, yeah, not a huge, uh, not a huge degrade, but I, I do love it. So, yeah, Toy Story 2. Really great. And again, I keep forgetting freaking rankings. Kung Fu Panda is S. Kung Fu Panda 2 is S+. Plus. Toy Story 2 is S. And the final movie on this shelf, Ice Age The Meltdown, my favorite of the Ice Age movie. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of fell off of this after the after the fourth movie. I never, I never watched the fifth one, but uh, this is my favorite one. I, I love this movie. It, this was one movie I watched as a kid so many times, it's not even funny. I, I'm surprised the DVD still works, honestly. <laughs> so, there you go. That is my animated movie shelf. Definitely where the majority of my, of my go-tos and my favorite movies are, if you couldn't tell from the fact that every single time I brought in a new movie, I was like, this is one of my favorite movies, because, uh, yeah. It is. So there you go. There is my animated movie shelf. Real quick, I'll go over my little figures, though. I have a little Lightning McQueen right here, which is awesome. ka -chow! We have Penelope, of course, my probably my favorite Disney character of all time. Wreck-It Ralph right here. A uh, little Toothless. I absolutely love that. A little Frozone from Incredibles. little Mulan. Don't have Mulan because I haven't found a good release of it, but Mulan is another one of my favorite animated films of all time. Monsters, Inc. little Mike Wazowski. Mike Wazowski! Kitty! Boo! Um, and, uh, Joy from freaking um, Inside Out, another movie I really need to get. Oh, there's some really great releases of that that I gotta get. And I also have these little, two little figures of Sadness and Mr. Krabs that just go on this little thing that holds up my, my movies right there. So, there you go, there is the animated movie shelf. Alrighty, and last but not least is my horror shelf. So yes, I am a bit of a horror fan. I uh, really, really like uh, the movie, all the movies you see right here, I absolutely love. And, uh, yeah, let's... Let's just get into it. Let's not waste any time. So first off, I'll go over my figures real quick because I'm going to have to move them out of the way to start pulling Blu-rays out. Here's my little Jigsaw figure right here. Absolutely, absolutely love this naked Jigsaw figure. Absolutely freaking love this. Definitely probably my favorite on this shelf. And uh, little Billy comes with it as well, which is awesome. I have a little Bonnie here. Bonnie is absolutely sacred to me. He was probably the reason I ever gave horror a chance because, uh, you know, I was a kid when Five Nights at Freddy's came out. And obviously I loved it because what kid didn't? But yeah, Bonnie was always my favorite. So he's a, he has a very special place in my heart. Chucky, he is, he is the man. Chucky is my favorite uh, horror franchise of all time. We're going to talk about that in just a second here. But yeah, really awesome. And lastly, Jason Voorhees, who is my favorite horror icon of all time. And this is an awesome figure. Absolutely love this. This is my favorite look for Jason, too. The Freddy vs. Jason look. So there we go. All right, let's jump into this. Chucky, my favorite horror franchise of all time. All of my favorite, like, yeah, I love every single movie in here. Every single movie. This is all seven of them. And then I have the remake right here. Uh, I love all eight of these movies, every single one of them, they're they're awesome. I just I just I love Chucky. The dude is the dude is the man. He's he's so great. Brad Dorif is just 
incredible as the little fucker. Absolutely love him. This is the uh, collection with all seven of the original movies right there. Child's Play 1 is S+, plus, 2 is S+, plus, 3 is S, Bride of Chucky's S, Seed of Chucky is like B, uh, Curse of Chucky is like uh, probably like an A, and Cold of Chucky is C. Cold of Chucky is the, the closest they got to to, to kind of lame, but yeah, absolutely love that. This is a really awesome release. It comes out of this cool little sleeve, and you have that, and then it has all the DVDs in there. Really, really awesome. Child's Play the Remake, absolutely loved this. It's not much of a Chucky movie, but it's awesome. Absolutely loved it. Um, I'll say A, really phenomenal. My one of my favorite movies of all time. We were talking top three. This is honestly is almost as good, almost as close as uh, as Coco. This is probably tied with Coco as my favorite movie of all time. Saw 2004. If you have heard from people that this movie is nothing but grossness and torture porn and all that shit, they're lying to you. They what they're talking about are these movies, the sequels to Saw is what they're talking about. This movie is a masterpiece. This is one of the best films ever made by humans, and this is probably my favorite Blu-ray release in my entire collection. It has this amazing slipcover that comes off with the TV right there. Saw, there's the back right there. Absolutely love that. And then here is the steelbook. Absolutely incredible with Billy's face right there. On the back, this amazing picture of Carrie Yelways right there, and then Jigsaw in the little robe looming in, in, in the robe lo looming over him. Open it up. There you go. There it is. This movie is absolutely immaculate. This film is, is I, I really can't say much about it because I, I want you to watch it yourself. Uh, just know that it is, it is a masterpiece. Um, they do get really gross. I will say that after the second one, they do get really fucking gross. But uh, you can honestly just watch the first one and be cool. Spiral's really great though. So I don't know if if you crave more after you watch the first one, uh, you can totally continue. The second one's fantastic. But uh, yeah, this this is one of my favorite films of all time. I love everything about this movie. I love the story behind how this movie was made too. And this release also. This release has so much great stuff on it. it has the audio commentary from James Wan and Lee Winnell, which I absolutely love. And it even has uh, Saw Point Five on it, which is the original short film that got the film made uh yeah definitely one of my favorite releases in my collection and obviously like and like i said uh probably my favorite movie of all time tied with coco just an, an, an absolutely incredible film s plus s plus 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 saw uh all eight of the movies so this is every single one of the saw movies uh this is uh yeah this is just every single one of them it, it does have the first one on it as well but obviously i go with my with my awesome steelbook when i watch the first one but yeah that's every single one of them uh like i said saw is s plus 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 saw two s saw three um c saw four b saw five like uh b minus saw six is really good a uh final chapter saw seven probably probably go with a b the c on that one and then jigsaw is a fucking blast jigsaw so much fun uh a absolutely love jigsaw that one's so much fun Evil Dead, uh, all three of the movies, absolutely love every single one of these, uh, yeah, are just so much fun, really, really, really fun, Evil Dead 1, probably A, Evil Dead 2, A, Army of Darkness, A, yeah, all three of those are A, really love them. Better Watch Out, probably my favorite Christmas horror movie. I love this movie. This is a yearly watch for me on, on December. Absolutely love this movie. There's this huge plot twist like halfway through and it's just phenomenal. Watch it. Really freaking great movie. Absolutely love it. The Invisible Man, one of my favorite movies of 2020. This movie is phenomenal. Uh, directed by Lee Winnell, the, uh, the guy who, uh, one of the guys who made, uh, Saw, my favorite movie of all time, like I've said. Uh, yeah, incredible film. Absolutely incredible. So fucking scary. Absolutely love this damn movie. Idle Hands, amazing horror comedy. Love this. Devin Sawa at his best. Yeah, love this movie. Blair Witch Project, I don't care what anybody says. This movie scares the shit out of me every time I watch it. Really creepy. Really cool. Always, yeah, love this movie. Fucking timeless. Zombieland and Zombieland Double Tap. Absolutely love both of these movies, but I love this one just a little bit more. You can't beat the original, man, but Double Tap did come pretty close. Absolutely loved Double Tap as well. Return of the Living Dead, not much of a zombie fan, but this is by far my favorite thing zombies ever were a thing. This is my favorite zombie media ever. This movie fucking rules. The Craft, awesome movie. Absolutely love this. The cast in this movie are are, are incredible. Nev Campbell's in it. Nev Campbell's the fucking best. Uh, yeah, this movie's phenomenal. If you haven't seen this, it's about four girls who kind of become like a witch cult. And uh, yeah, it was kind of uh, like they totally like like charmed. If you ever heard of that show, it was a total ripoff of that of that movie. It's it's 
phenomenal. Absolutely love it. Doctor Sleep, incredible film. Absolutely incredible film. I like this movie more than The Shining. I'll just say it. Hot take, but I fucking love. The, I love. I love Doctor Sleep. Ewan McGregor is one of my favorite actors of all time. So. Trick or Treat, absolutely love this movie. Nice uh, horror anthology, a lot of fun. I, I watch this every single Halloween. Absolutely love it. The Blob, I watch this movie purely because Shawnee Smith is in it from uh, Saul, and uh, I honestly loved this movie for way more than just Shawnee Smith. Obviously, I love seeing Shawnee Smith because she is uh, she's amazing, but uh, yeah, this movie was a lot more fun than just seeing uh, Shawnee Smith. Misery, amazing, amazing film. Absolutely horrifying, but uh, incredible film. Both James Conn and Kathy Bates are phenomenal in this movie. One of my favorite horror films of all time, Ready or Not, this movie fucking rules. Oh my god, I love this movie. It's an absolute blast. It's hilarious. It's fantastic. It's a bloody massacre, and I just love it. It's both of the movies. Absolutely loved the first one. Did not like the second one whatsoever, and I am now realizing I keep forgetting to give rankings. God damn it. Better watch out. A tier. Uh, Invisible Man. S tier. Idle Hands. Um, B tier, The Blair Witch Project, A tier, Zombieland, S tier, Zombieland Double Tap, A tier, Turn of Living Dead, S tier, Craft, A tier, Doctor Sleep, S tier, Trick or Treat, B tier, eh, A tier, The Blob, A tier, Misery, S tier, Ready or Not, S tier, It Chapter 1, S tier, It Chapter 2, fucking D tier, so boring, three hours of fucking boring. The Thing, an absolute masterpiece of a film. Truly incredible. Uh, yeah, this this movie. I don't think this movie needs to needs much to be said about this movie. It, it's a masterpiece. Absolutely incredible. S tier. S plus. S plus. Absolutely. One of the best films ever made. Sadako vs. Kayako. I'm a bit of a J-horror fan. I really like the uh, the main uh, J-horror characters, uh, both Ringyu and The Grudge. Always more, was more of a Juwan The Grudge guy, but uh, yeah. Fun movie. Always liked it. And then, to go along with that, I do have the original Juwan movies, which I absolutely love. This Juwan the Curse, one of my favorite horror movies of all time. Absolutely incredible. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sadako vs. Kayako, A tier. Juwan the, uh, Juwan the Grudge, A tier. Juwan the Curse, S tier. Incredible. Freaking phenomenal. Friday the 13th. All eight of the movies. I'm not going to fucking rank every single one of them. Let's just go with... Uh... <laughs> I mean, every single one of these movies is like the exact same movie. They're all fun. I enjoy all of them. But they're, they're, they're definitely not like on a pedestal or anything like that. But they're all fun. Uh, I'll say C tier for every single movie. <laughs> Paranormal Activity, uh, all fun, uh, all fun movies. I, I like them, but uh, the th the first three are definitely my favorites. I I'd say the first three are are pretty great, but everything after that, eh, sort of meh. First one's like, first one like S, B for the second one. Third one's really good, probably A, and then uh, four, five, and six. Four, I guess C, five like uh, probably a D, and then the last one's F probably. Uh, the Purge, all the movies, I like them, but the, I like them all, but Electioneer was my favorite. I really liked Electioneer. That one was so cool for me. And finally, A Nightmare on Elm Street, all of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. First one's a masterpiece. Second one's good, in my opinion. I like the second one. Third one's the best one. Third one's my favorite, S tier. So, first one's S tier. Second one's, like, uh, A tier. Third one's S tier. Fourth one, I hate. Fucking garbage. D tier. Th fifth one's garbage as well. Uh, F tier. Freddy's Dead, awful, absolutely atrocious, one of the worst fucking movies I've ever seen, F tier, and West Craven's New Nightmare is fantastic, though, West Craven's New Nightmare is so good, uh, S tier for, for West Craven's New Nightmare, and then Freddy vs. Jason I have a lot of fun with, uh, probably A tier for Freddy vs. Jason, but yes, there we go, oh, we're done, I'm, I'm done, finally, I'm finally done, <laughs> whoa, I'm done, oh my god, <laughs> completely out of breath, I'm about to... Lay down in that bed for about two hours, probably. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys thought of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know once again what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Whoo! I'm tired. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is DK Guillotine. I'm signing out.